Hey, welcome back. We're the Kanpai guys. We Kanpai, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Now, today, we'll be looking at the Kirin Riku. This is an entry level blended whiskey at 50% alcohol by volume. Yeah. And Kirin themselves recommend some very interesting ways to drink this whiskey, which we will get into later in the episode. So, Alex, let's enter the. Land of Discovery. I've seen this whiskey around in some supermarkets. The reason I never picked it up is because it kind of like blended in on the shelf with all the other whiskies. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because the label is so simple. It is very, very minimalistic,、mm. I think, by design. Yeah, like you, I've seen it around a lot. It's a whiskey、uh, put out by k i r i n And k i r i n makes pretty good products. I'm a fan of their beer, for、yep. example. This particular bottle was very affordable at about 1,300 yen. So, David,、uh, first glance,、um, what do you think about this bottle? Yeah. I never actually like, looked closely at the label or anything. Right. Kind of regretting that now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, it's a very interesting label. So, yeah, the labeling is quite nice, in my opinion. Very simple. So, it features the kanji, which.、Mm. You said means Riku or land.、Uh, land, it means、right. land. Not like my land, your land,、uh, I land. <laughs> Not like that kind of land. <laughs> it means like literally like the ground,、okay. the soil, the dirt.、Okay. So, the, I guess, the subtext here on the label it says land discovery.、Mm. Right? So, that's what it's referring to. It's referring to The actual name of the whiskey. 50% whiskey, what do you discover in your drunken haze?、Uh, I'm sure you get real up close and personal with you know, the land. Yeah, yeah. You, dis- you discover how to sleep around a lamppost <laughs> like a salary man. Right.、Or、50% is pretty strong, right? That is very strong. Don't some of the American bourbons, bourbons sorry, go up to that? They, they might. I don't know offhand. And it's funny you mention that because some of the Um, Amazon reviews that we will get to later in the episode actually do compare this blended whiskey to a bourbon. Yeah, we should say if you've been enjoying our Amazon reviews, we got a whole bunch of them today, so、yes. stick around for those at the end of the video. <laughs> right here on the edge of the bottle, very unassuming text <laughs> in all caps, it says Riku Warning. I don't know, David, what could they be warning us about? What do you think? It's 50% whiskey, so like,、uh, don't leave it、right、on the floor when your rugrats are running around or something. I don't, know. don't drink and drive. Or,、uh, don't drink and drive? Yeah, that's pretty standard do it, warning.、Right. Yeah, don't drink you know, all in one night or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, be wary of health e f f e c t Riku warning. One, according to our blenders, adults should enjoy Riku in various ways, not only as a highball. Two, Adults should share Riku with someone they know, not only enjoying Riku alone. Three, adults should drink Riku to enhance their quality of life. Go and discover new whiskey land. So, obviously, that's kind of tongue in cheek. On the other side of the label, they have another, you know, more, more serious. Warning label or you know, message. Please drink responsibly, do not drink and drive. But the next line are handsome blenders secret recipes. I guess handsome enough to like include it in the labeling. Maybe they accidentally gave this like job of designing this label to like the office comedian, like Ricky <laughs> Gervais in the office or something. 
<laughs> Possibly. I'm gonna have some fun with this. Yeah. It's only a $1,200 bottle of whiskey, so right. the president's not gonna notice. Also, it should be noted that these these messages are actually written in like full English. It's not in Japanese. Yeah, it's in English. Yeah. So I guess it could be possible that <laughs> like the the higher ups didn't even like check it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the or label me. is so unassuming, so they can like hide this message on the just like. The, le the they live from whiskey bottles. <laughs> like aliens living among us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on to uh, ways to enjoy this whiskey. What are some other recommendations from Kirin here? So the first way is to serve it as a highball, so a whiskey soda. And they recommend, after you pour it, add in green lemon or kabos. Mm, okay, kabos. very so, Japanese. Citrus fruit, yeah. And they recommend one part riku, four parts uh, soda. Cool. For the, hybrid. Uh, the next way is to cut it with water and ice, so mizuwari in Japanese. Yes. One part riku, ten parts water. Third most common way would of course be on the rocks. One part riku, Four parts ice. Let's get into the three more unusual ways we'll build up. So Yeah, some of these really surprised me. Well, the next way is similar to a whiskey we drank recently, but also has a white label. Some probably white. Oh well, yeah, yeah. They recommend this with hot water. One part Suriku, three parts hot water, 60 degrees hot water. Learn more about the hot toddy. Check out our Suntory White video. Next, with milk. This one kind of threw me for a loop. The only like milky alcoholic beverage I think I've had is like a Kahlua or White Russian. White Russian. So one part Riku, four to seven parts milk. So the last way is probably the way we're going to try today. At yeah. the end of the video. Mm. So if you want to see this, watch till after the Amazon reviews. This is one part Riku, three to six parts hot water, again 60 degrees, a tablespoon of sugar, and a dash of cinnamon. Yeah, so we're gonna try a, a hot cinnamon whiskey. Hot cinnamon toddy? Do hot toddies have sugar? I have no idea. Me neither. I am under 90 years old, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that kind of rules you out, yeah. So David, would you like to read off the tasting notes from the Kirin website? Sure. Uh, first, let's introduce the nose. So yeah, as you mentioned, this is from Kirin. They say this has a pleasant woody aroma with a hint of orange. Mm. Again, a pleasant woodiness. There is also a hint of vanilla and spicy nuts. On the nose, nothing very remarkable. Picking up a slightly distinct smell, but I can't tell what it is. Maybe orange, maybe something like that. It does have some orange notes to it. I don't really pick up the vanilla. For a 50% one, it's not as harsh as some other ones we've heard. Good that point, is. yeah. Yeah, for being 50%, it's not that harsh on the nose. Hmm. Like at all. So, uh, Corinne say this has a solid depth of flavor. It has a sweetness and a depth of flavor from the barrel. So that can be said about, you know. Any whiskey we really right. Right? Yeah. Like Every whiskey must get some taste from the barrel, shall right. we? Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. It burns. It does. <laughs> it burns! <laughs> it's like a smooth burn. Like the nose, it's. Not as harsh as you would expect. It's not like walking into a burning building, it's more like walking into a sauna. Like walking past the burning building and your eyebrows get singed. <laughs> <laughs> would you say this, like, what was the warning? Like, it enhances your life or something like that? That's correct, yes. Adults should drink Riku to enhance the quality of their lives. Enjoy I guess the, the word enhance is kind of subjective. Uh, being in rehab. <laughs> then yeah, that's an enhancement. If your goal is to like go from moonshine to this, then that probably would be an enhancement. If I want to discover the land, like quite literally, then 
No, this could help me do it. Oh, you mean like face plant into the land? Yeah. yeah. Or if I lose like my home and I just, you know, live on the streets. With this in a brown paper bag. Right. It's sweet. It is sweet, but it has like a sweetness on the lips. Not waxy. No. Syrupy. Almost. Not syrupy. Yeah. So the finish. <laughs> a rich finish. It sharpens beautifully with a refreshing impression. By sharpens. If they mean it's like a dry finish, then I would agree. Parched mouth. Yeah, parched. Very, very parched. Spitting feathers, as we say in England. Spitting feathers. So next we're going to try this uh, on the rocks. On the rocks, that's right. All right, so I'm actually very excited to try this on the rocks because a whiskey we recently reviewed, the Boguchi 8 year, kind of blew me away by how good it was on the rocks yeah, you know, compared how, to meat. How much it changed when we put it on the rocks. Right. Yeah. Obviously that was a more expensive whiskey than this. Let's see what Kirin has up their sleeves for their, for their Riku. I think the nose is greatly enhanced. Like a highly trained paleontologist going in and like <laughs> brushing off the sand from the bones, you know? It retains the sweetness from before, but there's also like another like deeper note going on at the same time. For me it's like it's like separated the notes. Yeah, they kind of forked like that. Like they're still mm. there, but you know. For me the sweetness is like a caramel. It's a little bitterness now. For me. Yeah. It comes like after the sweetness. First sweet, then bitter. Like orange peel or citrus peel yeah. or something. It's not too complex. Like it's no. it's like the, the sweet caramel notes and like the bitter like citrus peel notes and then right in the middle you have just some slight burning while we're finishing these would you like to go into some amazon reviews yeah yeah so for those that are new to the channel for our drink re reviews we often bring in some amazon reviews so we take the original japanese reviews and we translate them with different translation services. And we do our best to try to decipher what they mean because sometimes the translations are kind of wonky. First we'll start with the three star review. Cocktail base. Hmm. I think that's the actual hidden to this review. Cocktail okay. base. Okay. Let's see where this is going, I think. Probably, yeah. It has a high alcohol content, but is light in taste. I can agree with that. It does ha it does not have the sweetness of lingering taste or lingering taste of Jack Daniels, but it is sharp. As the title suggests, it mm. does not interfere with cocktail bases. In addition to soda, it would also go well with cola, tomato juice, or a shot of lemon slices with sugar on top. Hmm, okay. The lack of sweetness in the original makes the sweetness of the citrus and the sweetness is not wasted. Pun aerobatics there. <laughs> <laughs> I love drinking Jack Daniels straight. So, the sweetness, depth and aftertaste are based on the best lots of Jack Daniels. I think this person really likes Jack Daniels. So do I. Yeah. So they go to like art auctions and like on very rare bottles of Jack Daniels or something. <laughs> <laughs> in brackets, in parentheses, sometimes I hit a lot of Jack that is not sweet enough. The previous sentence would suggest a bottle of Jack, right? a lot, the lots of Jack. Or I just hit a lot of Jack, just smash a lot of Jack. Smashes in like, yeah. taking it. I don't often pair Jack with sweet, sweet drinks. I want to taste the sweetness of Jack Daniels. But I think this whiskey would be good with a Riku Cola, not a Jack Cola. I think so. Hmm, okay, so instead of like a Jack and Coke, they're recommending a Riku and Coke. I think so was a separate sentence. 
<laughs> Not a Jack Cola. I think so. So next to a short review. Okay. Four stars. It has a refreshing sweetness and sharpness and no strange habits. Except the label, I think. That's yeah, a pretty strange habit. <laughs> so I think it is suitable to be enjoyed as a highball with a meal. However, the alcohol content is high. So if you use the usual concentration, you will get drunk. So you need to be a little careful. What you eat, can I say? Very good point. Yeah. I can imagine this is very easy to overdo it with. So the next review, uh, four stars. Title, Japan's early times. Japan's <laughs> early times. Early times is a bourbon, right? An American bourbon. Very cheap bourbon. It's like a thousand yen a bottle here, isn't it? It's more bourbon than whiskey. Japanese bourbon. If you think it tastes like something you've had before, it's just like early times. The highball taste is bitter and I prefer Nika. I think you can enjoy the aroma, aroma more if you don't dilute it, like on the rocks. The good thing is, is that you can drink it easily for 50 degrees. Uh, 50%. Our fourth review. Please wait for the star review. The star number. The drink is not as tasty to me as the price. The colour looks pale. I will not buy it again. Here's what I think after a month. I feel like this person wrote this review like in two different times. Like they wrote that only. And then they came back and they edited it. Edited it. I think this is edited. They added this like a month later. I didn't think it tasted good when I first tried it. But after drinking it evenly for almost a month, I came to like it. It is light and goes well with a highball. I'll probably buy it again. I originally gave it two stars, but I'm revising it to four stars. Four stars. They doubled their score. You know what? Something I like about this review, I appreciate. They didn't go back and just delete the original comment. They kept the comment there. Well, it is valuable information. I mean, hmm. if they had a change of heart, then I'm sure many other people would as well. Okay, well, there are Amazon reviews. Cool. Yeah. Pretty insightful. Yeah, I think we can say we agree with a lot of those comments. Certainly. Kanpai scores. Mm, it's fairly easy for me. I think I'm going to go six. I'm thinking... I'm thinking of five. I prefer it on the rocks. Mm. And it's just dead average neat. All right, so coming up next, we're going to try the hot cinnamon version of this. All right, so we have our hot cinnamon Riku whiskey. Uh, this is my first hot toddy. I'm excited. It's my first hot toddy in about 15 years, I think. <laughs> it smells quite nice. It does, yeah. Like a cinnamon applesauce kind of smell. <laughs> it smells like Christmas to me. Kanpai. That's very comforting. <laughs> that is nice. Like something you drink while reading a book. Or yep. Like, you know, like after a nice shower. Watching a James Bond movie, Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, even like a Christmas morning kind of, kind of drink. I like this a lot. And it does kind of open <laughs> you up, like your sinuses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. which um, you mentioned before in a previous episode. I right. think I like this better as a hot potty than even on the rocks. Does this actually change your camp high school? Not really, no, because... Uh, it's kind of a new way to drink it, I think. New, at least for me. So, yeah, yeah, once you're putting other things like cinnamon into whiskey, you're not really drinking the whiskey in its true form. So yeah, our that, Campai Guys score is the true form. Yeah, at that point you'd just be reviewing <clears throat> the cocktail, right? Well, yeah, right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the little bell notification icon to get uh, future notifications on when we drop videos. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. If you disliked it, you can dislike it as well. If you have any requests for future episodes, please let us know down in the comments. We'll see you on the next episode. All right. Until next time. See ya. See ya.